You're on it right now. 30 years ago, it didn't exist for most of us. Today, many of us can't live without it. Of course, I'm talking about the internet. There are about 4 billion internet users in the world, more than half of the human population. But where is this all-powerful, godlike technology actually located? In the next five minutes, I'm going to show you not only where it's located, but how it works. When we watch a live television show, it's being broadcast from a studio somewhere in the world. It's being transmitted via satellite or through a TV station tower. But when it comes to the internet, it turns out that it's not located in exactly just one spot. This is the reason it exists in the first place. The internet was created in 1969 by the research unit of the United States Defense Department called DARPA. It was created with the thought that since it would be a network, not located in any one place, it could not be easily destroyed in case of war. Because if you bombed one arm of the network, then the other arms would still be operational and people could communicate so we would not lose the war. The internet consists of massive networks of servers, which is a fancy name for a specialized computer located in data centers throughout the world. They are tied together with a backbone of mostly fiber optic cables and exchange points located in major cities. The term World Wide Web is part of the internet. It is just a user-friendly way to access the information that's on the internet. Now, when you enter a particular domain name in your browser, like amazon.com, or arvinash.com, your browser seeks out the location of the server which holds the files of that website by finding its unique IP address. An IP address is simply an agreed upon digital addressing strategy or internet protocol which consists of a series of numbers separated by periods. Every URL or website address has a unique IP address. When your browser accesses these website files, it translates them into text, photos, videos, and formatting that you can easily view on your computer using a language called HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language. The actual content of the internet resides, as of 2018, in about 75 million servers located throughout the world. These data centers are located in faceless buildings that you would not even know or recognize if you passed them on the highway. And who controls the World Wide Web? Well, no one actually controls it, but the de facto rulers of the web are Microsoft, Google, Apple, and Mozilla. These are the makers of the most popular web browsers, so anything they do pretty much sets the standard for everybody else. There are about 5 billion devices accessing the internet. Shockingly, do you know that the internet has a weight? Now, before I reveal the weight of the internet, if you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell icon so you can be the first to comment. I'd love to hear from you. Google estimates that the internet has a total memory capacity of five million terabytes of information. That's five million trillion bytes of information. The home of the internet is the globe on a tiny planet called Earth. The internet consists of nothing but digital bits of electronic on-off signals. And if you weighed these trillions upon trillions of electrons carrying these signals, it would weigh a whopping 0.2 millionths of an ounce. That's about the size of a grain of sand.